who is the real king here? An i7, a cool computer, or the real king? The real king of computing, the Dell Optiplex 755. After an infinite installment of Windows, I finally managed to boot into the system, fix some bugs, which were caused, I think, by a bad port on the motherboard, so I got a graphics card, which is a HD 7470, and trust me, when I say it's not a gaming graphics card, it will perform 4000% worse compared to a GTX 1070. But it's alright. So yes. I managed to get some benchmarks in. And the first one I got was Cinebench Run. Which was definitely everlasting. It's probably the whole thing was over 4 minutes. I guess. I don't, I don't even remember. But the score I got from it is 79 CB. Which might be alright for some basic tasks. But for gaming, not enough. Especially due to its very, very low base clock. I mean, 2.2 GHz will bring me nowhere as of right now. But, well, we'll see what we can do. A couple Windows updates later, I managed to install a couple browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, and this very, very low demanding browser called Vivaldi, which lagged least, so that was my browser of choice for this system. And I loaded up YouTube as well as Netflix to do some test runs to see if this computer was, well, good enough for maybe a media streaming device in your living room. As you can see, it can play Netflix and YouTube just as well. The only problem is that sometimes at 1080p it will drop a couple of frames. And that is due to some background processes that are taking processing power from the CPU. And well, it just drops a couple of frames. Out of a video that was uh, 14,000 frames long, I ended up dropping around 100 frames in total. Heaven's benchmark, well, as you can see, it was a mess. With the average of 3 to 4 FPS, it was definitely unplayable. But lowering down the settings to 720p at the lowest possible gave us a very, very nice average of 15 FPS, which is still unplayable, but I mean, it's up to you if you want to suffer through the pain and just play it anyway. CSGO is completely unplayable with, well, constant freezes. While Minecraft ran at 24 FPS at its max settings and lowering down the settings quite a bit gave us a very very nice 78 frames per second on average after world gen because that was just a nightmare. Rendering videos on this system it is possible but you definitely have to reduce the quality and the render times are just tedious and long. Very long. With that said just stay tuned because I plan into transforming this PC into a computing battleship. Next is going to be a graphics card update and probably install of Linux, so please stay tuned and see you later.